Alright guys, in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to disassemble and assemble um, your hand shift lid for Harley-Davidson 4 speeds. Um, this is a, or a hand shift lid, but people also call it a jockey lid. Um, this lid was before the, um, the ratchet top lid came out. This was on all Harley-Davidson's up until 1936 to 1952. And then 52 came out with the, the foot, the foot uh, shifter and hand clutch. So it changed, but <clears throat> you could special order it all the way up until 1969, I believe. So even if you have, say, like a 1960, you know, two panhead and it has this lid on it the the lids are all interchangeable the jockey lids can go on uh ratchet lid ratchet lids and uh jockey lids are interchangeable so as long as you have a harley four speed it doesn't matter which year your bike is um either or would fit um so that goes over what this is again this is the first style um Four speed lid is this lid. And um, <clears throat> some of them have date codes right here, like this one, I believe, is a 49. Other lids have a date code over here, or either here, here, or here, I forget. But, anyways, um, so let's start disassembling this thing. So, first things first, you're going to want to take out this set screw so I'm gonna do that all right so that set screw is out and that's this is what it looks like it's just a little screw and what that does is it rides right in there and it keeps the shaft from backing out so that's the first step now we got to pull that shaft out and uh, sometimes they're pretty corroded if they are try to spray it with some you know uh, liquid wrench um, PB blaster uh, anything any type of lubricant try to get it out um, so I'm gonna take the, sh the shifter shaft out right now Okay, so mine was a little in there, but I got it free. And you're just going to want to pull that out and inspect it. Um, try to get that detailed view. Anyways, you're going to want to inspect it for any pitting. Make sure it's in good shape. This one's in good shape. doesn't need to be replaced. Um... So, it's going to look like that. And then here is your shifter drum. That's what that looks like. And one thing I want to point out on this, because it's hard to see if you don't know what to look for. On some of these shift drums, there's a timing mark, okay? And some of them, you know, are indented right here, like right like right uh, in the middle right here, there'll be a little notch or there'll be a little moon shaped notch. But on this one, it's hard to really see, but there's an angled gear and that's your timing gear. So I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. So you're probably thinking, wow, they all look the same. You know, it's hard to tell, but if you look at this gear right here, that gear is angled more than the rest. And I'm going to see if you could see that. So that gear that I just pointed to. This gear right here. That my finger's on. That gear has that angle on it. The rest of them aren't as angled. So that's your timing mark. And the timing mark is usually always lined up with this right here 
this line. It usually lines right up. So if you can't tell, just look at your drum, go off this and look up, and you should be able to tell, you know, the difference with the angled gear. So that's that. Now we have this. And like I said, I'm not going to take this out. Um, I already inspected it and you know it's good so but if you want to take that out it's pretty self-explanatory uh just loosen that sometimes it could be really in there use an impact screwdriver if you want replace the spring the detent whatever you got to do but like i said usually they're okay so you want to really inspect the inside make sure there's no cracks um really go over it because you can't see that, that shifter drum takes up a lot of space so this lid looks good so now we're going to take the cotter pin out and I put this one in just for demonstration. Uh, I'm going to have to rebuild this. I just don't have the parts yet. However, there is a, um, this right here, you see this crusty, uh, rubber seal or washer. You, this is a seal and you're going to want to replace that. Uh, if you take this thing apart, so definitely get a new seal and um, So that's that I'm gonna take out that cotter pin right there the clevis pin All right, so that clevis pin is out and this spring behind here is gonna push on it like that so now you're going to want to take Take this out I gotta use two hands. Hold on. Okay. So you're just gonna pull that out, just like that. And um, this right here is a bushing. Um, you could replace that too. Uh, I don't know the part number. I'd have to get my book. But if you have a part number, it would list all the parts to this. And if you want to replace this bushing, it's pretty easy to replace. You just bang it out and bang a new one in. But most of the time, like I said, they're not really uh, that weird. So you got your spring right here, and you got your shifter gear. And uh, it's pretty easy to take out. Just kind of just press on the spring and, and and pull it out. Okay, so I got that loose, and. <clears throat> That's the other timing mark I was talking about. Right here. That's your timing mark for your shifter gear. And that's going to line up with that angled gear I showed you on the um, the shifter drum. It's going to line up. So, again, there's that angled gear. <clears throat> and when we put this together, it's going to line up just like that. Okay? So, like I said, inspect everything. This looks good. I mean, there's a little pitting, but it'll do. If you could keep these OEM parts, keep them. They're way better made than the aftermarket shit out there. So, um, always try to stay OEM if you can. And like I said, this is in good shape. You know, I've seen these things get repaired before with cracks in them. If you weld them, it's definitely worth to fix the OEM stuff. And then here's your spring. Spring seems to be still in good shape. It's got pretty good tension. You don't need a lot of spring pressure for this, but this looks like it's all OEM. So I'm going to keep it. So there's the bare lid. Um, like I said, inspect everything for cracks, really go over this thing, and that's that. Now, I'm going to show you how to assemble. So, first things first, <clears throat> we're going to put the shifter gear back in. Now, when you're putting it back in, decide with the timing gear. The, the, the timing mark is going to face this way. Okay, it's going to face towards that bushing. Alright, so 
You're gonna put your spring like that. And that's gonna go right back to where it was and just compress the spring a little and it'll fall right in. All right, so when you put this cam in, you're gonna kind of make it like that, turned like that. And we could still see the uh, timing mark. You can move it just a little bit so it's in the middle. Like right, right there is fine. I don't know if you could see that timing mark still. It's right there. So that's gonna go like this. Make sure everything's clean. I'm gonna take this apart again and clean it. And uh, once I get my seals and stuff. So again, if if you this is your last assembly, make sure everything's clean, everything's replaced, and that's that. So that's gonna go on there. And then you're going to line this up like i said so here is your shifter drum we're gonna find that angled gear right there and we're going to okay i'm gonna lay that in here you gotta press that in like that make that fit then we're going to line up that gear. Okay. Alright. So. It's in there. Sorry, I'm trying to do this with one hand. So. As you could see. See if I can move it a little. Okay, so you can see that angled gear is right on the mark with that cam gear. So that's where you're gonna want to be. Now that you know the position, you're gonna take back out the drum. I'm gonna take it out. Okay, now. Since everything's lined up, you got to take this out to be able to put the clevis pin back in. So now, what you're going to want to do is, you're going to line this up. Now, on some knuckleheads, it's facing up to shift. <clears throat> on some knuckleheads and panheads, it's facing down. Now, I'm going to be making mine a jockey shift. So... What I'm going to do is I'm going to have mine facing down because the lever is going to basically pretend that this is a jockey lever. It's going to be like that and it's going to shift like this. And the way the lever is set up is it bolts on like that. Not, not like this. It bolts like that. Okay. So... I'm going to slide this in. I'm going to slide that in. I'm going to show you which position you're going to want to be. Alright. So, the way that this thing goes in. Is there's a square on here. See how that's squared? So, if the lid's like this, it's going to be facing up. Okay? Okay. So if the lid's like this, it's going to go up. Alright, so that's going to go in like this. And then, there's a little square on that gear. And that's obviously going to line up only one way, in one position. Like I said, facing up. And the gear, the cam gear is going to look like that. Okay, it's going to be... 180 degrees from the top, 180 degrees from the bottom. And your hash mark is going to be a little bit upper from the middle. Okay? It's just going to look just like that. And I'm going to slide it in. All right, now this part's a little tricky. You, get, you, you need to push this in. And uh, sometimes 
I'll put a flat head under here and use my thumb and press it in and hold it and slide the, the clevis pin in. So that's what I'm going to do right now. All right, so it's a little tricky, but like I said, use your flat head and push it from the bottom using your thumb at the top and hold it with your thumb and just slide that, that clevis pin in. All right, and I'm not going to fold the the ends over because like I said, it's gonna be coming apart again. And one thing I forgot to mention when putting this in, okay, in between where it meets the lid and the and the shifter, there is a, le a leather washer and there's supposed to be a certain amount of end play in here. And there's a little shim, like maybe a, you know, a two thousandths shim that rides in here. And I think I might have showed it to you at the beginning of the, uh, or when I was showing you the lever. But if you have a parts book, you'll see the order and you could get your part numbers. So one thing that I would always replace on these is that leather washer. Make sure you have that shim and um, check the correct end play. But I'll explain that later or in another video. So now that that's set up, like I said, if you're looking at the lid this way, it's gonna be facing down. If it's like this, it's gonna be facing up. All right. And there is your cam gear, right basically in the middle. Now, we're gonna put our shifter uh, drum back in and we're gonna line it up Okay, remember that angle it's gonna go right into that mark on the gear All right, so I'm lined up that angled gear That angled gear is lined up with that mark right in All right, so now that that's in it's timed and now all you need to do <clears throat> is slide your shifter shaft in. So this side with the seal is going to be facing out. And this side with the thicker, um, the bigger opening is going to be going into it just like this. So just like that. And uh, this little set screw that I pulled out in the beginning, all that does, we just keep this from sliding in and out and it sits like that. So I'm gonna sh slide the shaft on. And when you do this, really, you shouldn't have to force anything. Loop it up with some oil and make sure it goes in. Don't be hammering it and you could, cause you could crack it. I've seen that happen before. But you could tap it, just, have a feel for it and make sure it's in and then you'll be able to see right there when it's ready for the set screw all right now the shaft is in and that's what it's going to look like and then you're going to pop this set screw in tighten it up just like that all right, I got a spot where I could demonstrate on how the gears work on this and how it's supposed to ratchet through. So right now that is in first gear and there's going to be five clicks. So right now this is first, that's neutral, that's second, <clears throat> third, fourth. We'll see that if you see that on here. You see the little uh, indents. So that's fourth, like I said. And then goes this way. Third. Second. Neutral. First. So that's how it's going to be. And as long as yours does that, 
and it's in those positions, then you geared it right. Main thing is just setting up the gears for the timing. So, hope that helps. If you have any questions, let me know, and I'll be happy to answer them.